Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. I guess you are ready. And um, tonight we have kind of work to do. Um, I have two pending messages. One with Ernesto. Ernest, uh, I know that you sent me a message. I, I couldn't answer, but we're I'm going to uh, give you the answer tonight, okay? And the other was, I don't remember who was the other, but I'm going to check who was the person who sent me the message. And I'm, I'm going to check uh, this. I don't know if you, um, if you don't have problems now with the platform, because I know sometimes it is kind of difficult, but we're going to check some difficulties in case you have some doubts, right? So uh, let me check this. Let me check some things here. Well, um, we're going to um, check this. Um, hello, everybody. We're going to check this uh, topic that is vocabulary practice class 14 okay and it is like uh intermediate one i'm going to check the attendance list okay with ways to say difficult we know that difficult it's a very easy word it is simple because it is similar than english and spanish it's very nice but we have some other fancy forms to use this okay so in this case here we have challenging not challenging challenging it is uh, related to challenge okay challenge is reto algo que representa un reto okay challenging okay challenge is reto but challenging is algo que es retador tough como toffy pero sin la like, tough es algo duro complicado hard Synonym, harsh, synonym, complicated. You can say complicated or complicated. Both are accepted. Tricky when something that at the beginning you thought that it was easy, but at the end you notice that it is difficult. So that's tricky, right? Eso es como, como tramposo, curioso, algo que no parecía. Demanding is a very formal word to express that something it is a very difficult. For example, um, there are some jobs that are demanding related to customer service, related to paperwork, related to workforce. Okay, and here we have effortful. In my case, I like to say complicated, hard, and demanding. These three words are the my favorites, but of course you can use challenging, tough, hard, harsh, complicated, tricky, demanding, effortful. Okay, so let's see who do we have here. And tonight, let me check this because I'm. Um, I have some some changes in the attendance list because some well a couple of the participants are not like present. Right. So uh we're going to start with Alex Ramirez. Do we have Alex? <clears throat> I don't know if Alex is here. Okay. If not, well, Ana Raquel, I don't know if she is there. Um, what about Vicky? Vicky, are you there? Yes. Yes. Oh, hello, Vicky. Okay, tell me one of these uh words, please. Uh, Impressive, complicated. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Uh, what about Brandon? Present teacher, hard. Okay, good. Denise, hi there. 
I present mm -hmm. uh, effortful. Good, thank you. Okay, Freddy, what about you? Present teacher demanding. Nice. Uh, Albert, hi there. Okay, you have a lot of noise there. Ernest, hi. Hi, teacher. Challenge. Thank you. Uh, Luis Eduardo Reyes. No, right. Okay, Majo. Do we have Majo tonight? Yes, good evening. Uh, tricky. So only for is you. Um, I'm just driving right now, so I'll be a listener for a while. Please. No problem. You let me know when you're at home. Okay. Thank you. Thank you to you, uh, Maritza. I don't know if Maritza is here because these days we're kind of um, pull a job. Well, uh, Miguel, hi. Sí. Uh, irregular verb for me is complicated. Okay, thank you. Uh, Morelia. Good evening. Good evening. In the morning. Thank you. Uh, Nancy, are you there? Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, present. Demanding. Demanding. Thank you. Okay. Oscar Eduardo, not here, right? Robert, hi. Good evening, teacher. Your Good class evening. is very complicated. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. On. Okay, nice. Well, good point, good example. And Roxana? I don't know if Roxana is there. Okay, so remember uh, we can use the different um, different vocabulary. Uh, yesterday we were uh, studying easy, ways to say easy, like uh, easy peasy, uh, it's a piece of cake, it's a cinch, uh, and so on, right? So uh, in that case, well, it is like, you can use so this is the opposite okay easy is a uh, fácil and difficult uh, definitely it is difficult let me check okay raquel in your case i recommend you to reset reinicia todo el celular yeah because let's see mm. Yeah, I recommend you to reset your cell phone. It could be like better sometimes. Zoom is has some difficulties and complications. Um yeah. Well, aquí dice el anfitrión no permite que los participantes reactiven su micrófono ellos mismos. Mm. No he hecho nada para silenciarlos. ¿Verdad? Todos pueden activar su micrófono, así como han estado participando. So, seguramente es tu dispositivo. Ok. Um, let's move. And here we have this. Um, I guess we have experienced good things and bad things. So, in case we have bad experiences, we have learned the lesson. Ya hemos aprendido la lección right? In different aspects or contexts. So, tell something you would never do again. Okay? I would never do again. You can say, I will never do or I will never. Okay? For example, um, si dicen, I will never, yo nunca trabajaría horas extra, por ejemplo. Por ejemplo, I will never work extra hours I would never work on Sunday. I will never uh, eat uh, Hawaiian pizza. I will never eat uh, pacaya. I don't know, whatever. Okay, or, or, whatever. Um, when you say your opinion in the chat, then maybe we can have some questions in case why. What is the reason you will never do something? Okay, for example, Work on Sundays are complicated, are demanding. 
especially if you want, if you have to work on the next day, that is on Monday. So it is difficult to work in that way. I have worked in, in that with that agenda and I, it is it is really hard. So, well, just an example. You can talk about food, about movies, uh, about music, bands, uh, places. I will never visit, um, for example, I will never visit El Pital. I love Pital, but some people are like, have like bad experiences about that. So please, uh, let's write here in the chat what are your, what are your opinions about what uh, you would never do again. I'm going to be waiting for your answers, my friends. Okay, <clears throat> let's start with this. And let me check this. Well, Vicky's kind of uh, working on her field. Okay, Denise, please uh, tell us your confession. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, I will never drive after drinking again. Why? Tell <laughs> because it's right. really dangerous. <laughs> yeah. I did one. I almost, I almost crashed. Mm -hmm. So you were about. You were I about. Never do it again. Yes. 
yes, yeah, about were, crush. But we're very lucky. Yes, very I was lucky. I was lucky. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Yes. Lucky. Okay. Um, and nowadays, if you are uh, driving after drinking, the, the, there are a lot of possibilities to appear in the social networks, in the social media of BMT. Yes, it's true. <laughs> You're and you got a penalty. <laughs> yeah, you got a penalty. Uh, your car goes to Changayo. <laughs> you will have, like, maybe you can go to jail. It depends on the level. Yes. of alcohol in your body and you're going to be very famous because of the pictures so i guess uh yeah it, it is it is like complicated so well thank you denise okay a lesson that was learned thank you denise i like it uh morelia yes Hello. i go Go to dance with high heels again. Is it uncomfortable? Is it difficult? It's uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> I guess it is. It is also tiring. Como cansado. Tiring. Yes, is is really hard. Okay. I can do it again. Okay. Uh, that time when you were. Uh, wearing high heels how much time did you dance one hour 30 minutes i don't know the capacity of it's time depend that you could of dance. the it's depend of the high heel mm -hmm. it is around six centimeters maybe mm -hmm. all night yes yeah but it is it, like acceptable it, yeah Mm -hmm. But if it's um, 10 centimeters, it's very difficult. Maybe yeah. three, five minutes or one hour. That's why there are some people, some girls that they put them away. And they are dancing without uh, shoes, right? I have seen that in some in some parties. Yes, okay. yes it is very common in, in, in parties like that. Yeah, is it common, like, because you are in a party and you want to enjoy, you want to have fun? Yeah, so, yeah, of course. Thank you, Morelia. So, no, never dance with high heels. I mean, like, high, really high. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Roxana and then Albert. Okay, Roxana, please. Okay, good evening, teacher. Good evening. One thing that I, I will never do again is get on the mechanical game tagada it hurts too much okay yeah tagada it hard it hurts especially the back yes or the hip yes. because there are some movements and you hit yes. your back and it is yes and even if you don't have enough strength or the uh -huh. you take away yes. the bar you're going to be in the middle of the of the, <laughs> game, yes. the middle game. Yeah, that's it. And you're going to appear in some Facebook post like Roxana dancing in the middle of the mechanical game. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's really nice. Yeah. And yes. so thank you. And okay. even um, well, I have seen a lot of people uh, falling down. <laughs> yeah, so that's yes. Thank you. Um okay. But one of the attractions in the in the holidays is watching the tagada. A lot of people go and watch the tagada, waiting for a person to fall down, right? Yes. Yeah, it happens. It's Thank fun. You. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> but if you are there, it's not fun. <laughs> no, uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Albert, and then Nancy. Okay, Albert. <laughs> I would never ask visitors. Okay, eh, sería quizás I have never visited Manjula in the case if you are saying that in the past you didn't have the opportunity. But eh, this is different because in this case, when you say, for example, mm -hmm, it's, for example, 
you were a kid and you wanted to go to the zoo, but you couldn't. No pudiste. So I have never visited Manjula. But in this case, we are saying cosas, estamos diciendo cosas que no volverías a hacer. Ok. Entonces podría decir, I will, o podría ser, I will never visit Manjula. Because uh, Manjula is, is there, right? Yeah, could it be? I will never visit Manjula. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, similar to Alfredito. That he he died, right? Okay, um, we go with Nancy and then, well, Vicky is busy, but Nancy and then Freddy. Okay, Nancy. Okay. I will never let myself be influenced by bad friends. Mm -hmm. And it happens when we take decisions, right? When we make decisions and yeah, sometimes we are pushed, some como presionados, pushed to do some things. So yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Nancy, for sharing. Yes. I guess we all have had bad friends or negative people. And we yes. have done some things, yes, just for not to lose the those friends, but they are not uh, actually friends. Thank you. Well, Vicky says, I will never climb a high canopy row. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Because I don't like the uh, highest. Uh, yeah, the high. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, uh, I'm afraid of heights. I feel Me like too. vertigo. <laughs> feel like vertigo. I feel like dizzy, como medio mareado, dizzy. And yeah, but there are a lot of people that they throw away the setina and they don't care. But in my case, I don't know, maybe one day. But you never. No. Okay. But know. you did it. You did it in the past. Yes. Yes. One, yeah, one time. Okay. One, one time. And now we Regret. Ahora te, te, te arrepientes. You regret, right? <laughs> okay, yes. Vicky. I'm so sorry. Algo estaba para... Thank you, Vicky. Okay. Freddy's and Ernest. Okay, Freddy's. Okay, good evening. In my case, I wouldn't work at night. It's very hard, complicated, or undemanding. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, in the past, maybe you worked uh, how many hours? Four hours, six hours, eight hours. Uh, eight hours. Oh, come on. In the in the third third shift for the ten and um, ten p.m. and six a.m. A.m. Yeah, I can imagine. And even you have an order when you go to sleep, right? You have your bedtime. But when you work in that time, you are like reset. And you are like very crazy with your times for sleeping. Yeah. So it is. It no is complicated. times for sleeping. It's directly. And even yes. if you sleep during the day, it's not the same. Right? <laughs> it is not a good sleeping time. Because there's no. a lot of noise. Yeah, a lot of light. So it's not the same. No es lo mismo. Right? Thank you, Redis. Yeah, I know it, it's really demanding. Ernest. Hi, teacher. <clears throat> I uh, will never eat sushi again. Okay. Sober. Okay. I, I, me too. I will never eat sushi. <laughs> uh, maybe depends on the one that you tried and the one that I tried, but I didn't like it. I, I don't know. Yeah. I, some friends have told me that there are different types of sushi, right? But the ones that I I I tried, it was like, ah, oh, no, I didn't like. Uh -huh. it, so. No, yeah, no. So no. Next, okay. So thank you, <laughs> Ernest. Ya quedó curado por me too. Uh, Brandon. Yeah. Uh, I will never work as a waiter again. Okay. I worked as a waiter too, Brandon. Okay. Have you noticed that the people are very rude? Yeah, it's very complicated. Yeah, so some clients yell at the, at the waiters, right? 
le gritan a uno. Yes. Come on. And yeah, and they are very demanding. So yes, definitely. How many how many years uh, did you work as a waiter? Let me see. Maybe four or five. Oh, really? Yes. You have like bad experiences, a lot of bad experiences, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Brandon. Nice. Uh, Miguel, and then we go with Raquel. Okay, Miguel, okay. your turn. What I will never do again is like the truth of a friend. Seems true, it is difficult to obtain again from the person one has harmed, and there are always damage that may never be repaired because there are always consequences of what we do. Yeah, actually it is. And if you notice, Miguel, we have had good people in our life, and because of different actions, the, those people, they are not in our lives. So, yeah. It happens. Yes. Yeah, we have to work, valorar, we have to work a friend and good people. Thank you. And Raquel, are you, are, are you going to read yours? Okay, let's move. So here we have, tell something you will never do again. I guess you are very clear of, about what you don't want to do anymore, right? Well, um, now we're going to check a video about customer service. And this is related to um, to what Brandon was saying, but not in negative form, but attending clients, okay? Attending customers. So in this case, let me check this. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to share the audio as well. Yeah. If not, you're not going to read, listen anything. Okay, uh, please uh, be in silence with your microphone. We're going to listen like four minutes of this video. Uh, it, it has subtitles. So you can read what these people uh, is, uh, are saying. If you think you took a job serving meals, think again. You aren't simply serving a meal. You're making memories. At Country Cookin', we pride ourselves on having good food and friendly people in a warm, relaxed atmosphere. For our guests, we want it to feel almost like home, just without the work of cooking and cleaning. Think about how you would act if you were having guests over to your own home. You'd be sure everything was clean for their visit, You'd greet them at the door and tell them you're glad to see them. You'd offer them a drink. You'd take care that the food you served was cooked just right and served right away. When they left, you'd invite them to come back again soon. Well, it's the same here at Country Cookin', and nothing is more important than you. Customers will respond more to your attitude and service than anything else about their visit. Want to earn big tips? Here's the secret. Genuine, friendly service. Take good care of our guests, and they'll take good care of you. Let's start with your appearance. You've heard the saying, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Well, it's true. You start earning your tip the moment a guest sees you approaching. Think about it. Would you want this person serving you food? Now how about this? Look at what a difference your appearance makes. I bet you'd be happy to work with this person. She's clean. Her clothes are not wrinkled and fit properly. And most important, there's a real smile on her face, one that shows in her eyes. Okay. Um, something that maybe called your attention about this? You tell me maybe Ernest or maybe Freddy's. I don't know. What did you see in this video? Uh, something that was like uh, interesting? Yeah, teacher. I'm okay. sorry. Go on, go on, Freddy. Okay, Freddy. Okay. It's, it's difficult listening the 
conversation. Okay, but you me. can read the subtitles, right? Subtitles, yeah, the letters, yeah. The, the words, yeah. So, or something that you saw, algo que viste, or I don't know, something about this video. This, bueno, no, not this show. no, no, okay. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, Ernest, please. Yeah, teacher, I, I understand that um, it talk about um, procedures in, in a restaurant yep. and how the customer uh, felt, feel uh, um, in, in a place, in a place clean uh, with servers uh, polite mm -hmm. and a uh, nice um, place to eat and yeah. stay with family. Yeah, definitely. Good point. Thank you. Thank you very much. Miguel, do you have some other uh, points about this? Maybe some words, phrases, or something that you saw? Um, I read uh, in this place um, only how clean the place and mm -hmm. watch and yes. only only how a smile oh her good face point. yeah smile yes. Happy face. yes thank you only very happy good. when server is mm -hmm. is very very good for me because when yeah. anything come here is is feel very happy yes when mm -hmm. you watching uh, any face uh, happy <laughs> yeah I don't know. maybe you can come back later right it is like well it was not that bad it's like good yeah but if you have a negative face or like an angry person attending it's like well, come on I am paying uh, for, for good service so that's it exactly. maybe you're not going to pay one million dollars but you pay because they give you good service Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Robert. Do you have any other idea about this, or maybe something that you read? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I think the woman in the video is talking about of the important importance of some elements. Yeah. In the good service, for example, cleaning the tables and and all the sides. Uh, the genuine smile and be polite with the customers. Definitely. Yes. And uh, the, the, that was something that uh, she was mentioning. Let me check. It is like, okay, this is like a big difference, right? The moment a guest sees you approaching, think about it. Would you want this person serving you food? Now, okay, I can imagine that this person this? is not happy. And this person... Look at what a one, difference your appearance looks makes. Looks different. I bet you'd be happy. Okay. It is like uh, the energy that you project uh, as incident. Incidents, right? And also, there is something that is called tip. Okay? I don't know what, Impression? what it is. Well, it's true. You start earning your tip the moment a guest sees you approaching. Okay. You start earning your tip. Tip is the extra money that the client gives you okay for example the bill the bill is twenty dollars and the client gives like twenty three dollars or twenty two dollars so two dollars or three or four it's your tip it is something really positive for waiters right or waitress in the case if you give a good service and the client it, it is like gives you not all the clients do that. And also, here we have some other like. There's a real smile features. on her face, one that shows Clean in her clothes, eyes. Not wrinkle. Wrinkle is arrugas. That's why when we get older, we have wrinkles like this, right? We have wrinkles like this. Wrinkle, the W is silent, it is not pronounced. Ring, wrinkle. Okay. So uh, that's another uh, reason when you go to work and you, if you iron 
your clothes, you look like different, right? Like fit properly and genuine smile. Okay, let's continue. Two more minutes. Here are some accepted outfits under the country cook and dress code. Your manager or trainer will give you a copy of the dress code and answer any questions. Good service and good tips begin the moment a guest walks in our door. We want all our guests to feel welcome and at home here. We greet them with a smile and seat them as quickly as possible. If you can't help a guest right away, be sure to acknowledge their presence and let them know you'll be with them in just a moment. It's especially important to help our first-time guests to feel comfortable. Ask guests, are you familiar with how things work here? Try to avoid phrasing that could offend regular customers, such as, is this your first time with us? For first-time guests, include a red flag placement with their menus and follow the red flag procedure. This helps ensure that new guests know how to get the maximum out of their meal and feel comfortable with the whole dining experience. Your manager or trainer will help you learn the red flag guest procedure. The basics of great service at Country Cookin' come down to four simple statements. Make a personal connection. Have a friendly and enthusiastic attitude. Sell and tell. Invite your guests to return. As with all parts of your job, your attitude is most important. Okay. And who else can share? Or the same persons, the same people? Okay, you tell me something that we, we have more information in this video. And I guess it is really important, all the, the tips that the, the, this video gives. I don't know, maybe Denise or um, Morelia. If you got an idea, if we don't have Denise or Morelia, yes, Morelia. Yes, um, I listen that it's important to to have a personal connection mm -hmm. with the customers, and for example, ask if it's the first time with us, or I I always remember who visits the veterinary for example yeah and maybe some people bought uh one month ago one thing any product and i try to remember it okay. i remember the number and it's something like it's nice to see you again it's a pleasure have you here and see you and it's something like that. It's a, a personal connection. The, the customer feels very important. And in, in this moment, it's something like, oh, do you remember me? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And it feels good. I I really love doing that. Okay. It is like a detail from you as an employee, right? It is not that all the employees do that, right? Not necessarily, but you take like your time to do that. And it means that, yeah, you have that detail. So, well, uh, congratulations for doing that. Remember that the, the clients and the customers come back when they feel welcome, when they feel uh, attended or listened. So in your case, uh, nice to see you again. How can I help you? in this time so in that way yes you, you can earn some points and if you have a good supervisor or manager that person is going to see that you're doing a good job thank you morelia okay mm -hmm. uh maybe some other person uh, freddy's now you got some ideas one idea is uh -huh. the the connection with the customer is very important. Is that's mm -hmm. it? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. It is a very interesting mm -hmm. how um, your attitude can change, like uh, this. Uh, well, process. Well, Nancy, uh, any other idea? Or Vicky? Okay, if not, let me check this, check this in a moment. 
But I want to something. It says, um, make a personal connection, something that some of you understood. Friendly and enthusiastic attitude, right? Sell and tell. So this can be applied for, uh, yeah, maybe customer uh, service in different areas. Well, let's continue. I don't know if, Robert, you have some other idea to share? Uh, I agree with the comment of Morelia. Okay. The video uh, talk about of great with a smile to the customers and some question, for example, if you're free time with us, mm -hmm. it make a personal connection too. And at last, the woman was talking about of uh, attitude is most, most important yes. in the process. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. So very, very nice uh, how we can understand different types of um, customers and how important it is to do that is to do that thank you uh, ernest do you have some other um idea to share uh yeah teacher i, ha I have a question for you and, and my partners uh, what is most important the attitude of the servers or the food the, uh -huh, the quality the quality of the product the quality right? yeah uh -huh. well I guess depends on the client because, well, let, let's see. Well, let's see some opinions. We have the attitude. I mean, the, 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 yeah, the service. I mean, the attitude or the quality of food or the product. What it's, I know, although both of them are important, but maybe that is the one that uh, has more impact in us. Okay. Uh, let's listen. Maybe Morelia in your case. And then we uh, go with um, Vicky. Uh, for me, it's more important the the food. The food, okay. Yeah, yeah. because yeah, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't matter don't matter how uh how serve serve me, but the food have to to have a good flavor. Yes, it has. It has, is yes, has yeah. to have good flavor. Because if don't don't if don't like me, I'm going to go out very angry. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's it. Because and especially when it is expensive, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I said but, the food is most important. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, uh, Freddy's. What about you? Attitude, uh, or teacher, for me. Excuse me. For me, is or are both attitude and quality ser food service because it, for the people is important both things because is necessarily good service uh, with with good act attitude and with quality. Okay food service quality of food yes of course mm -hmm. because you're paying for all these things right but well yes thank you, of Vicky. course mm -hmm. yes of course very valid opinion thank you Fred is what about you and then Brandon in my case both are important mm -hmm. because they are complementary is a good service and uh buena comida yeah thank yeah you. okay Complimentary, very interesting word. Thank you, Freddy. Brandon, what about okay. you? And then Robert. Well, if Brandon is not there, maybe Robert and Denise. Richard, I think both are very important because some restaurants have a good quality in his, in his food, mm -hmm. but the waiters are not polite. And some restaurants, the waiters are very polite, polite, but the food is very bad. Mm -hmm. And for example, I visit some restaurant in Chalchuapa, 
and the quality of the food is great but the waiters at it's a bad service okay bad service mm -hmm. okay but, but okay a question for you robert you come back you return to that uh, restaurant yes because okay. the quality of the food is it's great uh -huh. it, it's good say so, okay i understand thank you thank you for this uh, denise i don't know if you're there if not yes, yes. i'm here mm -hmm. yes i'm here <laughs> Uh, in my case, I think I preferred uh, a good quality than the service or the attitude. Mm -hmm. I love eating. <laughs> I love to eat food. <laughs> like all of us, we love eating. Believe me. We yes, all... so I could excuse them if they treat me bad. <laughs> if, the, if the food is if good. The food, uh, okay, <laughs> if the word is worthy. Thank you. Okay, yes. nice, Denise. Miguel, what about you? Food quality or attitude? Hello. Hello. Uh, for me, both. Both. Both of them. When, okay. when you arrive at the restaurant and the serve, you will, uh, you feel good. And they give it to you the, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. It depends the person. It depends the person when when okay. I arrive in that place. Is um, if they smile or. Hmm? Okay. No. Yeah, yeah. It, it is nice. Yes, I agree with all of you. But uh, I have come back. I have yet returned to places where uh, waiters are really rude, but because of the quality of food. And so very interesting question, Ernest, right? So it is, we have like a balance, mm, what is better? So uh, something good is that a uh, fair price, precio justo, good service attitude and good quality of food. That, that could be like a good balance, but well, you, you can have you can't have everything in life, but thank you. Let's continue. Okay, now let's move to, well, before this, here we have an uh, uh, an exercise. Um, read the contents in a server's training manual. Organize the topics to create the index of the manual on the right. Then present your index to your class and explain the reasons of your choice. Okay. Here we have this. This is server's training manual, but this is the index, el indice. Okay. What order you consider it should have. Okay. We're going to practice a... Two things in paid work. Vamos a trabajar en dos actividades en, en equipo. Okay. So I need you please to send uh, this screenshot, please, to the WhatsApp group, if you please. I will appreciate if you do that. Teacher. Hello. Tell explain me. me, I understand. Okay, no problem. Uh, we have like this. Setting the table, decaying wine, requesting a shift change, following the schedule, addressing kitchen personnel, getting to know the menu, blah, blah, blah. What is uh, like the most important for you that should be first in the menu? For example, dress code. If you consider that that's important, so dress code here, right? If you consider that after that it is important um, addressing customers, mm -hmm. if you consider, then goes number two. If you consider that it is addressing kitchen personnel, maybe number three. We have to order this service manual in this index. How you consider the, could it be the sequence? 
or the level of importance. Okay, we have to order. Los tenemos que ordenar, right? It is like this. And we're going to do this as first activity. Okay, I don't know if you already sent this uh, image. No sé si enviaron esta imagen. Okay. If not, we go now with the reading part. Luego vamos con la parte de la lectura. We, ha we have to present the main idea, la idea principal, of the type of guest, de los tipos de invitados o tipo de clientes. Okay. Look at this. I'm going to send this um, link to the WhatsApp group. Okay. So here we have activity number two. Let's read. You must be able to serve many different types of guests or clients to make appropriate selling suggestions and give good service. It is helpful to recognize and know how to handle all types of guests. For example, we have the timid guest, the aggressive guest. Guest is similar to client or customer, okay? We have the funny guest. We have over familiar guest, the guest who is alone, the noisy troublemaker, the blind guest, and so on. There are different types of clients or customers. So I need you to read just this part or this part or this part. I'm going to assign every part. Le voy a asignar esta parte. So I need you to give me like the one main idea or explain what is this uh, brief power de que trata este parte. Okay, we're going to work in pairs in two activities. Number one, order the contact in the index. And number two, explain this a very in, in, in few words. Okay. I'm going to assign this. And um, let me check. I don't know if you, you have difficult questions, preguntas, questions about this, doubts. We have two activities to do things, okay? So let me see. Okay, so. Okay, my friends, I need you to accept the request and see you in 10 minutes, okay? I see you in 10 minutes. Please, I need you to accept the request.
Hi guys, are you there? I don't know yes. if you have to. Yes, uh, my uh, problems, difficulties, or everything okay? No, I think Alex and Brandon are on his way to home. And okay. um, and they they are listeners right now. So okay. um I make I'm the so index, <laughs> no problem. Yeah, yeah, and, you can make okay. the index. And what about the text? Please just take a look at this and maybe we yeah. we can share. Mm -hmm. okay. And like in conclusion, what is, what is it about? Okay. Okay, no problem. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. See you later. See you.
Okay, hello there. I know that some of you may be aware about to check in some last details, but uh, we have to we have to advance about this, okay? So first, I will need you to let me check what do we have here? Okay, please. Um send the how you have your index. Please, if you have an image, you can send that uh, to Zoom or you can text it. But meanwhile, mientras uno está texteando el orden, the other person, or if you want to share that, you can uh, express or talk about uh, the text, okay? So in this case, we're going to start, okay? The other can be texting. El otro puede estar escribiendo. But meanwhile, we're going to start with uh, Denise and Robert. I don't know who's going to be the first one to talk about the types of guests that you were discussing. Okay. Um, I don't know who's going to be like, like uh, talking about this or both. Depends on you. I don't know. <laughs> we we didn't have enough time, but I can I can maybe. Okay, maybe you can give your opinion, and and Robert, I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, uh, I uh, my in our case, uh, the topic was I don't remember. <laughs> I guess the uh, yeah, yeah, aggressive. Yeah. Yes. Yes, or if, if you want, I can give you a couple of minutes, Denise and Robert, if you want. Um, no, I think okay. it's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I think to handle this type of person, um, sometimes you can deal with them with a little kindness, a little bit of kindness, and that can be helpful uh, to change any scenario like like that, like having a great, an aggressive guest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Okay. okay. Robert, do you want to add uh, anything else or it's okay like that? No problem. You tell me. I can hear you, my friend. Maybe activate the microphone. Sorry, sorry. No problem. I have no question about it because in uh, my work, I experience uh, this text okay. because sometimes I have to uh, interview with some aggressive guests or mm -hmm. some aggressive par parents. And we have to be courteous and business. business even business even like. if it is uncomfortable, if it, the attitude is not the correct, right? You have to keep calm. Yes, this is a great problem because yeah, uh, it, is, it is not easy. Sometimes, sometimes some fathers began to talk about laws, and mm, yeah, or demand problems. The, for the nowadays, demands. in their vocabulary, it is just uh, ask demanding or uh, talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go to the minute and I'm going to say that you're blah 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 and so on and. And yeah, there are some other aspects to talk about the problem. It is not that I'm going to uh, demand you, but also, yeah, come on. I want to know the other uh, aspects of this uh, problem, right? So, yeah, they yes. are like... That's that... the reason because we have to be very kindness and politeness mm -hmm. with the Yeah, that's it. Yeah, with the we, guests. Should. Uh, we should do that. Thank you, Robert. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, it's in that way. If you notice, fathers, parents nowadays, in comparison to the uh, the the other decades, nowadays they uh, they don't respect uh, some teachers, for example. And in the past, it was different, right? But well, there's a big topic to talk about. Uh, thank you, Robert and Denise. We we go with Freddy's or Morelia. You tell me. You work with the uh, physical guests, right? The hardest okay. guests to please. Mm -hmm. Morelia. I don't know if Morelia is going to talk about it. Or... 
or Freddy, you tell me. Okay. 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 Uh, the principal idea is put attention to the specific thing mm -hmm. that the customer prefer. Three B one test. B one step how to give him a good service for more. Is uh, the principal idea the Okay, thank you, Morelia. Are you going to add something? Morelia. What? Okay, maybe not, right? Okay, here we have this. Uh, thank you, Fredis. And here we have this, um, for example, to pay attention to the details. And because even the first guess, it is like difficult to please. Uh, but maybe we have to pay attention to the little things that they are uh, demanding, they are asking for, and uh, maybe if you complete with that task, you can have like a good result. Thank you, we go with um, Albert and Nancy. I don't know if you could work, no sé si pudieron trabajar. Albert or Nancy? Visité algunos, I visited some breakout rooms, but not the orders, okay? Okay. Nancy, I don't um, know if you're there. Yo tengo un, una idea del... Okay, del... yeah, please. Tell me. Okay. The over-familiar guest. Okay. The main idea is that the wiring has to be polite, but with very few words mm -hmm. away from the table, but attentive, mm -hmm. so as not to give a bad image. Yes, image. and mm -hmm. continue. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, and stay away, and maybe wait for when you are needed. No, don't stay so close. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, Ernest and Miguel, uh, the noisy troublemaker, right? I don't know who can explain. Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Please. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to explain. Yeah. Uh, it's what up to us who is alone. So what I manage to understand is that when someone arrives and is alone, we have to serve them and not be rude and tell us uh, what they want so we can help them is some service and serve them as they could deserve. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is. And especially when a person goes alone, me, that person uh, pays attention to the details because when you go with, with a, a with your couple, when you go with your friend, with your relative or family member, you are talking. But when you are alone, you pay attention to every detail. So it is important, yeah, to pay attention to that. Thank you, okay. um, Vicky and Roxana. Could you? I don't know if Vicky and Roxana. Yes. <laughs> okay, Vicky. Yes, teacher. We are. Roxana. Okay. I think uh, we have the noisy troublemaker. Okay. I think that you have to be patient and polite with the person to prevent them uh, from getting more angry. And that way, the person will make a big scandal. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Yes. Yes, I don't know if Victoria wants to add. Vicky wants to add something? Yes. It's only, um, I don't know, I, I, well, okay. maybe only refers to the participate in criticism. criticism. Yeah, criticism, criticism. yes. Uh, maybe right. uh, there are some negative comment and yeah mm -hmm. don't participate to that when the the customer the client is saying blah blah, blah negative things yeah like yes, this thank yes, you only, only that mm, good 
Uh, Maho, could you talk a little bit about blind guests? Yes, with Brandon and, and Alex, we have the blind guests. Um, let me see. Uh, first, uh, we need to make the client feel appreciated and treated well. And we need to be inclusive with regular menu. Yeah. And remember that the client always brings their pet, that emotional pet, or I don't know how do you say Lazarillo? Yeah, the guide, uh, guidance. The guide. Dog. The guide. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so it must be placed in a place with enough space to space. be space. Yes. And we need to be. To be very kind and patient with that. Patient and, and be like active if that person needs something, right? Yes. Yeah, to be checking. Yeah, thank you, Maho. Okay, thank you, my friends. Uh, here we have like um, different types of guests or customers, clients. Uh, I guess we all have had different experiences with these uh, types. So it's good to talk about it. Okay, let's move now. Here we have what's the name of this song? And this goes with Miguel. I have this file. Tengo aquí ese archivo. I don't know, Miguel, if you want me to, to share. If you can share, of course, but if not. What picture? Sorry. Uh, the, the homework. Okay, I'm going to share screen if you want. Okay. Okay. And let's see. It is this, right? Yes. Okay, Miguel. Uh, if you yes. want, you can read this part of the song. Okay. This uh, so lately, I've been wondering who will be there to take my place. When I go, you'll need love to light the shadow of your face. If the race way so far, it will fall open out all and between the sound stone. Could you make it on your um, it's called then I will. Okay. And here we have have take to be need. Okay, good. And this is part of the song, right? A uh, question for everybody: Do you know this song, or have you ever heard about this? Yes or no? Because um, in my case, uh, wherever you will go. Yeah. <laughs> From the calling? Yeah. It's, yes, it's right. The calling. Yeah. It's the calling. Good, I remember. Yes. Mm, okay. Very nice. ah, so I... Lately. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Okay. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Okay, Excellent. Miguel. Mm -hmm. Okay, Miguel, go. Uh, okay. With the verbs, right? See, the verb has take to be, need, love, make. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Let's move. Okay. Let's move with the other. It's modal, right? Okay. Modal verbs is could, should, and would. Perfect. Good pronunciation. I like it. What about the other? And then uh, uh, I have Savio pronouns is I, you, it. Okay. Perfect. And Thank you. Yeah, here we have possessive and positive adjective, my mm -hmm. and your. Yeah, my your. Okay. We have and also irregular verb being gone fall. That's it. And the last and preposition are on to a if thank you Miguel. good I job thank you thank for you your help. thank you for sharing good job very uh, very good way uh to separate 
I guess we are taking into account. I don't know who was the first one to do this. I don't know if it was Robert or I don't remember who did this. But it is a good way to present it. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you to you, my friend. Okay, with the song, we're going to continue with. Okay, Maho, are you there? Yes, for tomorrow. Yeah, could you? Yeah, I could. Okay, for the others, I'm going to let this for for for, for other um other days. Okay, Maho is for tomorrow, so prepare your song. Okay, and it is another form to uh, study grammar. Thank you. Thank you for all your participations. Remember, it is really, but really important uh, you to uh, participate. Well, we go with the listening. Okay, we go now with the listening. Uh, this is another audio about some other topic. We're going to listen to this. Uh, remember, as I always say, try to identify phrases, ideas, okay? So just give me a couple of seconds. I'm going to prepare this. We have it here. Okay, here we have this. Let's listen. Music and its importance. Music is an excellent company in our leisure time as it wipes away the feeling of boredom. It is proven to have re-energizing and rejuvenating abilities for us. It has not only being used to discard boredom, but too many have also made it their profession. Ample job opportunities are available in the music industry, starting from singing to creating music with the skill of playing instruments. Okay, let's listen again. Music and its importance. Music is an excellent company in our leisure time as it wipes away the feeling of boredom. It is proven to have re-energizing and rejuvenating abilities for us. It has not only been used to discard boredom, but too many have also made it their profession. Ample job opportunities are available in the music industry, starting from singing to creating music with the skill of playing instruments. And the last time. Music and its importance. Music is an excellent company in our leisure time, as it wipes away the feeling of boredom. It is proven to have re-energizing and rejuvenating abilities for us. It has not only been used to discard boredom, but too many have also made it their profession. Ample job opportunities are available in the music industry, starting from singing to creating music with the skill of playing instruments. Okay. Uh, I guess we have all clear what is this audio about, right? So let's see volunteers to share, Me? to say, yep. Uh, I could listen that music is important. Mm -hmm. When I have to, something like I have to express feelings or you can use the music to, to get money. You can create music um, or just listen or uh, play an instrument. And the music okay. is therapy. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Yes, music also is like a therapy. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you for uh, your your ideas. Uh, who else? I guess we uh, can identify nice words. 
Me teacher. Okay, please. I'm talking about that. Okay. When I listen to that, uh, what I understood is that music is important because it make it make us feel good and it helps us identify and play instruments and it makes us feel better. Is it's very important uh, listening music for me. I don't know if it's correct or not. Yes. Yes, Miguel, it's correct. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Very nice. And Majo? Yes, uh, with a new vocabulary, I listen leisure time. Okay. It, it says uh, music is an excellent company in our leisure time. And is energizing and rejuvenating abilities for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very very nice words. Um, let me let me show you this. Music and its importance. Yes, uh, music. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four main ideas. Okay, music is an excellent company. It's proven to have energizing and rejuvenating abilities. Mm -hmm. Um, available in music industry, starting from singing, creating skill. What is leisure time? Ah, yes, leisure time. Mm -hmm. Leisure time is when is your free time. Um, I consider that you have few <laughs> leisure time because you're kind of busy, but especially for teenagers or young people that. They don't work, they have free time. We have free time, but it is not that big. Okay, um, we're going to move to, to this. We were having uh, the last time, uh, remember the ideas about would be better. Okay, would be better. So, would be better is used to express a strong advice or suggestion. It is not that when you say, I, I think, in my opinion, uh, no, this is like strong, like you are giving a recommendation, but your recommendation, it is based or very good justification. For example, it would be better to let employees decide what processes change. It would be better to let the manager take care of the situation. Other expressions to provide suggestions or alternatives. Would you prefer, wouldn't it be better to, it would be good if, okay, it would be good if we have professionals to complete the manuals. Okay, so would be better es como sería mejor si, but would you prefer, no preferirías tal cosa? Wouldn't it be better to, no sería mejor si cambiamos eso acá? It would be good if, sería bueno, sí. Okay. So here we have this. You already know how to use it. And you know that it is for giving a recommendation. Okay. Put the words in the correct order to make sentences and questions. Here we have number one. Would you prefer to have a different schedule? Would you prefer to have a different schedule? We have two, three, four, and five. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds so you can read and try to order and then we complete it, okay? Take a look.
Okay, uh, let's move. We have just two more activities and we say goodbye. 21 minutes and we say goodbye. So any options for this? You tell me if you have like your, well, a possibility for any of these answers, my friends. What about you? I, I think wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't it be better? What number, uh, Roxana? Uh, number two. Okay. Wouldn't be, wouldn't, 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 I, I confused. Wouldn't it be better to receive the manual before painting? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be better? Mm -hmm. To, uh, to revise, revise, to revise, revise mm -hmm. the manual before painting. Yes. Before. Mm -hmm. yeah. Before painting. Uh, printing. Yes. And have printing. you noticed? Printing. That sorry. Print. Yes. Have you noticed that there are some manuals, uh, menus, uh, different things that they have mistakes. So that's why they have not checked before. And yes, this is like a good recommendation. Thank you. Okay. Um, any other? Number four, teacher. Four, let's go. It will be a good idea. Mm -hmm. To have a training manual for chefs. Yeah, that's it. It would be a good idea to have training manual for chef. Thank you, Robert. Very nice. Okay. okay, three and five. Number three. Okay, let's move with number three. It will be good if we change the dress code. And a question, uh, thank you, Morelia, very nice. A question for you, I don't know, do you have a dress code? Do you have it? I don't know, Morelia, Majo, Vicky, Robert. I guess Robert, yes, right, Robert, you do. Miguel, I don't know. A dress code, un código de vestimenta, is it, like some indications for you, maybe industrial uh, protection or colors? Yes, I have to use the the infirmary dress. Okay, mm -hmm. it is yes, like, but... yeah, in your case, because you, you work with pets, right? It is like, mm -hmm, definitely. Exactly, I have to use that. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Maho, in your case, do you have a dress? No, my workplace is very informal and sometimes we have pajamas days. Wow, <laughs> so it, nice. So we don't have yes, we don't have a dress code. It sounds really good. Yes. Comfortable. Nice. Okay. Um, what about Miguel? I don't know, or Vicky. Dressing code? Maybe not. Well, I guess Vicky doesn't, maybe, just boots. Yes, I hear because, uh, but I, I don't know for the answer for. Yeah, maybe, maybe boots, right? Or uh -huh. fresh clothes, right? Because you have to work. You have to work, yes. Thank you. Okay, we continue. Number five, does anybody have this? Okay, you say. And...
Okay, it wouldn't be better. Mm -hmm. Okay, could it be? Thank you. Okay, my friends, let's move. Uh, sixteen minutes, and we say goodbye. So let's move to this other part of the of the class. Okay. Um let's move to this. Mention your favorite toy when you were a kid. Let's re uh, let's remember the times when you were innocent creatures of the Lord in which you were playing all day long, I guess you have a favorite toy, right? So let's uh, write here in the chat and maybe you can write just the name of the toy or what was it and maybe you can describe it when speaking, okay? I'm going to be waiting for your answers. Okay, let's move, and here we have Morelia, and then Brandon. Okay, Morelia. Hi, my favorite toy was strawberry shortcake. Mm, do you have it now? Or yes. it disappeared? Uh, I have a... Uh, a little little doll of mm -hmm. strawberry shortcake but my my sister cut the hair and then she make she made male it boy okay well but good but, memories good memories Morelia. <laughs> i have good memories with yeah that. part of your childhood nice i like it thank you uh, Brandon and then Ernest, okay, Brandon. My favorite toys when I was a child was the trompo. Yeah, the trompo. There were like the calazos and all those things when you. <laughs> yeah, <Paredon. Those. laughs> Yeah, of course. And remember, now we have like ground, todavía hay tierra, but in not all the places we have like uh, 
asphalt. We have, there are short parts with ground now. But in the past, it was very common. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Ernest and Maho. I uh, my uh, I have one one of there, but I really love it. Nike of the Zodiac in special Andromeda. Actually, I had a, a a figure, an action figure of Andromeda, and I like it because of the change, right? The change. Yeah. I can't remember the change. It, it was really nice. Uh, the 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 suit. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Do you have it now? Do you have I it? Don't. Oh, okay. No, I'm I don't. sorry. Me, the same. Yeah. It, <laughs> uh, it, like, it is lost. Thank you, uh, Ernest. What about Maho and Robert? Okay. I don't really remember my favorite toy. And uh, what I do remember a lot was that I love making mud pies and climbing, climbing trees. Uh, yeah. Like mud that. pies. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I like it. Talking the same thing with Brandon that uh, before we have more ground in, in trees and, and maybe you can have like different, a, a lot of things, or maybe you can have a rope, right? And you can like move like this. Okay, right. Different things with a tree. Thank you. And especially if it was a fruit tree, better even because you can eat yeah, when it was the season. Thank you, Maho. Uh, Robert and Albert. Okay, I remember some toys. For example, my first Game Boy Classic, Classic yeah. Game Boy, and my first Game Boy Color. Oh, uh, but yeah. My favorite toys was a pair of skate rolls. Really, I I I couldn't learn how to how to use them. That, I didn't have that's, them, that's but was very funny, and we, I, I feel many times, and we start to jump in, and it was very dangerous. Yeah, very dangerous because I fell down like three times, and then I, I didn't try anymore because I, uh, yes, I had some pain. So thank you. Yes, I remember that I have a Game Boy as well. I didn't remember that. Yeah real one but the first one was like black and gray right it wasn't huh? and then we have the color one yeah thank you uh, Robert uh, Albert and Nancy please okay Okay, thank you. All the boys always dreamed about uh, remote control cars. Yeah, it was like amazing. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Jorge. Nancy and Miguel. Okay, Nancy. My favorite toy when I was little was uh, Monopoly. Really? But Monopoly was kind of complicated because it, it has rules. Right, it is very interesting. Yeah, I like yeah. Monopoly, but it takes hours, like three hours or four, right? Uh, no, not necessary. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Miguel and Denise. Okay. When I was five years old, a group of people passed by the neighborhood where I live. They were giving away groceries and toys, and that day they got me a plastic bus, and which I made a hole to pull in it and played with with it. That was the most beautiful day for me. Yeah, definitely, Miguel. And the same thing that we were talking: the ground, be um, and the past. It was a uh, very fun to play with cars on the ground. You can make like street, podrías como callecitas. There are a lot of things you, you can do. So yeah, definitely a good day to remember. Good memory meal. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Denise and Vicky. Okay, uh, when I was a kid, I used to 
like to play with Barbie dolls. Mm -hmm. And Tamagotchis. I remember Tamagotchis too. Really, I didn't have Tamagotchis. Okay, but I, I saw them. Okay, um, any special Barbie doll? Uh, I, I remember that I had one of Disney Barbie. Mm. I had Jasmine and Aladdin. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that, that was my favorite. Yeah, do your favorite is to play, especially because of the movie, right? So, very yes, nice. my favorite it's movie. <laughs> really nice. Thank you, Denise, for sharing. Vicky? Uh, for me, my favorite toys was a car, <laughs> like a Ferrari. <laughs> really? Yeah, I had a, I had one, really, that was, like, amazing. So, you all, never all had toys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. That's why you, you like to go on the fields and walk and follow yes. the mood. I, I, I don't have a... a well, I don't never had a doll. Because my dad only bought me cars. Cars. And you, 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 you like you were happy with your cars, right? Yes, I, I like the cars. Okay. And right now, <laughs> también. So. Okay. <laughs> now, now, now. Okay. <laughs> now as well. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you very much uh, for sharing. Okay, my friends, we have four minutes. And in this time, I'm going to check maybe, voy a revisar en este momento si tienen problemas con la plataforma, si hay algún ejercicio que ustedes consideren que está algo complicado. Ernest, me había enviado uno, pero creo que no detallabas qué número, yeah. bueno, en qué unidad estabas. No sé si te acuerdas o si hay alguien más que tenga una duda con respecto a eso, si me podría decir en qué. Because we have some parts. Tenemos algunas partes que son... Uh, hello, teacher. This, this is the uh, part two, that, one, three, I think. Dos yeah, but dos, is eh? this section one, section two? Two. Or the mid two. Section two. Section okay. two. Two. And here we have the number of just, 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 just the example that you you presently. The you, but, but what? El ejemplo que, que puso. Uh -huh. um, uh, yeah, but what is the number of homework? 2.2 or 2.5 or what? 2.11. Okay, 2.11. What number of, of, of question? Two. Two okay. and five, I think. Okay, let's two, two, two. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't, okay. I try everything, but not in, uh, nothing no. is correct. I, I guess, I guess. Me okay. too. Okay, okay. I'm going to share the answer here in the, in the, in the uh, Zoom chat, but try to to copy and paste because I consider that in this case it is the it is the the apostrophe mm. I guess I tried that teacher but don't or maybe the first letter it's capital letter capital yeah I try everything okay I sent, I already sent that to the, the this Zoom, uh, the, the chat in the Zoom. So please try to, to paste it, okay? Because, um, for example, here, this is the, the, the correct one, but maybe uh, we, we do oh, this. Yeah. We do this. That's, that's Maybe. Right, that's right. Okay. It could be the capital letter W, the apostrophe, or the period at the end. The period at the end of the sentence, el punto al final. Maybe it could it be like, like this. Okay. And Denise, you were saying. Teacher. Sure. 
The number five, too. Okay, Miguel, just number five, and then we go on. Oh, come on. I can notice that there is a space between the side and the question mark. I don't know why. Okay, this is number five. The, the, the other one. This is number five. Wouldn't it be it be better to let the manager decide? But look at this. There is an space. Hay un espacio. There is an space. Uh, Albert, I need you to tell me. Well, Miguel. Teacher, ahí envié este al grupo de WhatsApp el problema que tengo. Solo le tomé una captura y ahí este le tomé la captura donde dice que están buenas. Tengo 25 de 25, pero Donde dice anterior y siguiente, para darle siguiente, para que me dé el puntaje, este, si usted ve ahí las letras, o sea, no. Um, y sí, si, y si marcaste todas las preguntas, no hay una, sí, sí, sí. sí. Ahí están, ahí, ahí le acabo de tomar una captura y lo envía al grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí está, y dice el siguiente. Claro, porque no te sale 25 de 25, o sea que no tenés Ajá. nada. Donde dice anterior, si usted ve las letras están bien pronunciadas, va bien negrita. Y la siguiente para darle, para que me dé el puntaje ya no me da. Este problema lo okay. tuve en el básico 6. Lo mismo. Y al final te lo pudieron mismo. resolver eso. No, para nada. Y escribí al corporativo, pero no me han dicho nada tampoco. Entonces, a mí me vale, serviría cuántas, subir un poquito el puntaje. ¿Cuántas veces has intentado? Eh, siempre. Ahorita lo acabo de tomar captura justamente ahorita para que me diera el puntaje Bye. y querer enviar y me da opción. Qué raro. Pero ese es del midterm, ¿verdad? Sí, él es el último, es el final y no, no me da acceso para darle siguiente. Bye. A veces, a veces hay, hay errores de plataforma, ¿ok? Y cuando son así, nosotros eh, lo reportamos y cuando lo reportamos, pues normalmente le pueden dar solución. Ok, voy a eh, sí. reportar eso entonces. Y voy a ver, si gustas mañana seguimos con eso. Necesito que todos me den Muy el bien. Full... Ok, Miguel, no estamos pendientes contigo. Estamos pendientes contigo. Muy bien, Poner gracias. arriba en el chat, please, para la asistencia, porque ya se nos fue el tiempo. Ok, uh, recuerden siempre en el chat, ¿verdad? En el chat. Um, así como lo está enviando Robert y todo eso. Brandon, ¿tú no tienes problemas entonces? Con Albert me voy a quedar un momento. No, de hecho, allí le mandé eh, la captura de, de las ah, pesas a Albert. Albert, ok, Albert. Eh, Tomarle captura a eso o descargarlo. Ok, Albert. So you can. Eh, you're not going to have problems, ok. Y, ok, me quedaría, Nancy, me quedé contigo ayer. Nancy, sí, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, ok. Um, let's see, we're going to start con Morelia también, ¿verdad, Morelia? Ya tuvimos sesión. Uh -huh. Sí. Thank you, thank you. Uh, sería entonces con Robert. Te quedas un momento, ¿verdad? El resto, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Veo mañana. Have a good night, my friends. Tomorrow. Vamos ahora. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Spurs. Mm, and but the I English, see. the level of English that you have is because you have learned by yourself, you have you are self didactics, or because you watch on no <laughs> videos, you study by yourself. Yes, my uh, watching videos in Instagram, TikTok. <laughs> Okay. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they are very useful. Okay. Um, Robert, I consider that you have a very good level of English, and sure. congratulations because you are very fluent. You have good vocabulary. Of course, there are some details that because of the grammar points, vocabulary that we have to learn more. But for this level, I consider you, you are okay. You are doing Thanks. good, okay? So, um, and, and specifically because you are a teacher, but you teach math, right? Or yes. what? What is subject? Okay. I'm but, teacher of basic education, but oh, and now, mm -hmm. I'll, uh, some I love. Uh, you love teaching, decir, right? Un poco, un poco de todo, digamos. A little bit of everything, okay? A little bit. Of but everything. but, but yeah. in your case, you teach in Spanish, right? Or in English. Yes, Spanish. Okay, but but I consider that you may. And what what about um teaching English? Have you ever considered that? Uh, I I don't like. Uh, or I don't think I never have. Como digo, nunca he pensado. I have never thought. I have never, I thought. never thought to teach English because. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. Not sure if. If. Uh, I have the knowledge. The knowledge the right now, but maybe uh, the way the rhythm that you have, I consider that you you can you can get it. But for teaching English, um, sometimes you need some certifications. It that depends on the institution, right? But if they know that you are good in teaching all those aspects maybe you can have like more opportunities i consider that you are very you have the chip in your brain of languages so um i don't know if you have some questions by now if you have difficulties with the topics everything okay uh it's a new area because mm -hmm. i don't know uh, about the customers and procedures mm -hmm. i but know i I learn new vocabulary and this is very important. Yeah, like definitely. And mm -hmm. uh, remember that this is English for work. So it is very sure. different if you are learning English in an academy because uh, basically it's about conversations, um, not so confusing words, but here it is like kind of complicated vocabulary sometimes. So that's why it is like kind of boring for some students, but I hope you like the classes because we I try to have different activities. If you notice the speaking activities is like opportunity to speak. And I know that you have a good teacher before, but every teacher has its methodology. You know, you know that every teacher has like uh, his or her methods. So I hope you can have like a, a different uh a different view of, of English classes, okay? Um, I don't know if you, you feel okay with the speaking activities, with the vocabulary, I don't know, with the practice? Yes, sometimes I feel uh, so uh, some difficult mm -hmm. because I'm new in this world. I know, <laughs> I know. I yeah. know, but, but um, remember, you're going to learn all, uh, always, even... I have been teacher and English teacher for 15 years and even I find new words and I say what what, what is this word and then I have to memorize and then and so on so that's it uh, these things happens but well just let me tell you that you're doing good uh, Roberto I hope you can continue okay because you have the, the, the capacity and the skill to learn more and more Okay, Robert. Hey, teacher. Okay, if you need very anything, motivated. I'm very yeah. motivated. Okay. I like it. I, I hope you can you can continue like that. Remember, you have your my number. In, in any case, you have any doubts or question, 
I'd be there. Okay, my friends. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Have a good night. Good okay. night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Tomorrow.